is. Hello, everybody. Long time no see. It's me, Sarah, Adventures of Sarah, and I'm here today to catch up with what is up in packing. First of all, what's up with all of our tour schedule? Right now we have a bunch of tours out running that I am not on, which is very cool. So thanks to all of you for trusting my guides. Uh, we've got Lisa Anderson out running Puglia, uh, Nina Sepuzaki, who's out running uh, Provence, and then Susanna Perrucchini just finished with two Sicily tours back to back, and Anna Piperata did Florence. And right now, Andrew is in Turkey with our friend Thailand doing an Eastern Turkey tour. So I'm heading out let's see, Wednesday, and I'm going to be joining Thailand out in Turkey to do a coastal Turkey tour. So these are, this is a very exciting lineup of tours, but here's the thing, I'm gonna be gone about six weeks. I'm going to do Turkey, then I'm going to do Egypt, then I'm gonna do Jordan, then I'm gonna do India. So these are very different destinations. Uh, it's gonna be kind of a, a different set of things, and I've been thinking a lot about this. So. Um, what I want to do, first of all, is because I'm going to be traveling for six weeks, I'm going to go as light as I can. So I'm trying to trim down some weight. So today I just wanted to show you guys a few of the things that I'm changing up about my packing routine uh, based on things you've seen in the past. And then uh, you can kind of see that I'm trying to change things a little bit uh, lighter, even lighter than I do already. One thing to note, because I'm going to uh, countries that are Islamic, I have to change what I'm wearing a little bit. Normally, at this time of year, because it's warm, I like to wear sleeveless things and short skirts. Not going to be doing that uh, because you need to be a little more uh, culturally appropriate. So short sleeves, three-quarter length sleeves, long sleeves, pants, uh, skirts that hit the knees, that's more what you want to do, plus a scarf in case I need to wear a hijab at any time, which is to cover my hair if I want to go into a mosque. So with those things in mind, and then it's just going to be hot. Turkey is going to be really nice. It's going to be in the 80s and 90s where we're going, so I need to bring a swimsuit. Uh, and then Egypt, of course, at this time of year is warm. Jordan is going to be warm. And then India is going to be pretty simmering. It's going to be in the 80s and 90s as well. So how am I going to do this? Well, first of all, I um, just want to show you my new backpack. The delightful folks at Tom Bin have uh, designed my favorite new backpack. It's called the Tequanaut. I gave this already a try out over uh, when I went to the Netherlands uh, this past month, uh, and I'm absolutely in love with this. It's a wonderful new bag. What I love about it is you have this main cargo compartment, and you can fill that up with the cubes like usual, and then down here is a bottom compartment, and that's where I put shoes. Shoes and dirty things go in the bottom compartment. Uh, it's also got a nice slot in the back that's padded, and I can put my laptop in there. And then these little side pockets so I can put smaller things. Oh, there's some, there's some underwear in there. Uh, and on this side, more small things. I think I had like dirty, oh, these are my travel socks. So it's a really nicely designed bag. It's really simple. Uh, you've also got a zippered place here. This is where I put my toiletries kit so I can pull that out real quick if I need. Uh, so I'm really happy with this bag and this is what I'm gonna be using for six weeks. What I love about it especially is if you look at the fabric, this fabric is Dyneema, which is a really lightweight, super sturdy Japanese nylon. Uh, I like this much better than the Cordura bags. Most bags are Cordura, but they're really heavy. This is super strong, but it's also incredibly lightweight. So this bag, I would say, is significantly lighter than any other backpack I have. Plus, it has a really nice structure in the back. So I love this. It's a big investment, though. I'm going to be honest. It's like 340 bucks. So. If you decide you want to buy one, um, be sure to go to adventureswithsarah.net and click on the link at the bottom, and then you can thank me by buying through the links on there. I appreciate it. Uh, one other thing that Tom Ben sent me, I'm not going to use on this trip, but I wanted to show you, is their new bag called the Cambiata. This is a really fun adventure bag. I used this all summer. I took it to Hawaii with me, um, and it's, it's really kind of an interesting size. So it's basically, if you like a backpack, this is a really nice backpack, um, and you can even just do a whole weekend trip uh, using it. I fit most of my cubes in here, and it has a slot for my laptop. Uh, so it's just kind of a big empty compartment, not empty at the moment, but a compartment there, a pocket here, and then as usual, places to connect all of the Tom Bin little sacks that I like to attach. Uh, and then on the inside, it's got a couple of, of organizer pockets as well. So. This is a great new bag, it's called the Cambiata. I don't know that it's available yet, but it is coming out and it can be both a shoulder bag or a backpack. So I used it as a backpack and I loved it. I'm not taking it with me on this trip though, because 
sadly, the bag that I love the most is the bag that they don't make anymore. So this is an old Tom bin bag that's, oh gosh, at least 15 years old. So this is my tried and true beloved day bag. The Cambiata would be great though if you like a, a backpack for your daily adventures. It's very comfortable. Okay, so first things first, shoes. What am I gonna do about shoes? Uh, as always, if you have watched my packing videos, you know that I love my scale. This is an OXO scale. Uh, and this is how I weigh everything to decide what to do. I was at REI today and I found these Chacos, which all of you have been suggesting I get for years. So I found them on sale, they were really cheap. And I thought, well, I'll give these a try and they felt really light. And then I got them home and I tried weighing them. So let's have a look. These come in at eight and a half ounces. Whereas the shoe I've been wearing all summer, this one here, this is a cork bed. Uh, this is by Taos and I love it. It's very cute. And I have really enjoyed these and it's a wedge. So it's kind of sexy and cute. Uh, this one I thought had to be heavier. It's so much chunkier. And this one comes in at nine. It's only a half ounce more for a far cuter shoe. So I might bring these, but then I also forgot that on a clearance sale at the end of the season last year, I bought these Echoes. Now Echo, they're great because they're like a footbed that's uh, sort of like a sneaker, but they're leather and they're adjustable and they're actually nice, but they're cute and light. And these ones come in at seven and five eighths ounces. So these are the clear winner weight wise. Uh, and they're actually very comfortable. My complaint with Echoes, I wear a size 12 and these barely fit. So I don't know. These ones here I do recommend though if you're looking for a really cute pair of shoes. I'll get um, all of the recommendations for products. I'm going to post this to YouTube later and I'll have links for all the different things that I'm talking about so you can just go ahead and grab them if you want um, off of Amazon. But love these. I have walked everywhere this year. This is my favorite pair of the year but I think I might go ahead and try the Echoes on this trip because I am trying everything uh, to shed weight. So what else about shoes? Well, my favorite pair as always is going to probably go with me. These Tiva Mesh Mandolins, which I know you guys don't need to tell me, they are not really making them anymore. If you find these on Amazon, buy like four pairs and save them because sadly they do not make them anymore. Uh, one thing I did find on Amazon that's kind of fun that I'm considering, these are like Rothy knockoffs. You know, Rothy's are those really fancy flats made of this kind of like mesh net that sort of stretches, but they're like $300. These were worth like 30 bucks, 30 to 40 bucks off of Amazon. And they have a nice rubber sole. Are they okay? Yeah, they're okay. I took them on a trip. Yeah, they're okay. You can toss them in the wash. I might bring them. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, what else? But my favorite shoes of the year are these ones here, New Balance. And I don't have a model number for you, but I will try to find one for you. These are both the same model and they're ultra light. They come in at seven ounces. That's lighter than any of those sandals. They are super comfortable. They have like a gel insole. The only thing I don't care about is you can't put your own orthotics in these, but they're super comfortable. I have, I got two different colors. I wore these in the spring and these in the summertime and they are a winner. So I'll try to find um, a link for these so that you can um, go check them out. Lightest tennis shoe that I have found um, anywhere. Oh, here we go. They're called Energize, N-Ergize. Fuel, fuel for Energize tennis shoes. That's what they're called, okay? Uh, I think if you go to Amazon, I have a shop that my assistant has been updating, so hopefully she'll have links for these if you're looking for them. So that's a little bit about shoes. Uh, what do I do next? So that's the first place I can cut weight. If I just take, let's say, these ones, I take the Echoes, and then I always like to take a third pair just in case, and I'll probably take these because the mandolin mushes come in at five ounces. Where are you going to find a shoe at five ounces? My only question though is if I'm going to India, am I really going to want to wear open-toed shoes? So that's why I'm a little on the fence about that. So I'm going to think about that, but it is going to be hot. So next thing to think about is clothes. And uh, I've already pre-packed, so you can see what I'm thinking about for me, and I haven't quite decided. This is not heavy. I don't know if I can get a weight. This is pretty heavy uh, for this scale. Oh, look at that. It's five pounds, eight ounces. That's all the clothes I've chosen so far to go to India. So let's have a look and see what I chose for this particular trip. 
I'm trying to, to just choose things that are going to be modest. I don't want to choose things that are um, too skimpy. So this is another Tom Bin bag. It's technically one that you're supposed to put clean clothes here and then dirty clothes here. But what I do is I put my flat fold stuff here and my rolled stuff here and it works really well. So it's an all in one cube. So in my flat folds, I've got a little jacket that I bought in Morocco. I've got an Eileen Fisher top. It's, um, I think it's called the artist jacket. And it's just like a white, crisp white top, but it's also kind of a jacket. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna bring tank tops that for when it's hot and then put lightweight jackets like this over the top. It means a shirt, but I'll treat it like a jacket. Same thing here. This is from Banana Republic and it weighs almost nothing, but it's long sleeve. So it's a long sleeve um, top I can put over the top of a tank top, which is great. These are my favorite new pants. These are from Prana and they are stretchy waist. Look at that. So you can eat all that yummy food, but then they look like proper pants otherwise. So it's kind of like a combo of a yoga pant and a stretchy pant, so, or yoga pant and a, a presentable chino. So these are fantastic. Uh, Prana is a really great brand if you've never heard of it before, P-R-A-N-A. -A. They make yoga clothes, but they also make regular clothes like for men and women. The only problem is some of their stuff is a little heavy-ish. Uh, silk pants from Eileen Fisher. These came from ThreadUp. I think I paid 20 bucks for them. So if you're interested in starting an Eileen Fisher collection and you can't go for $300 a piece, go to ThreadUp. You can buy used. It's great. Also from Eileen Fisher, these are capri pants that are um, linen. And then this, which I think I've shown you guys this before. This is another Eileen Fisher thing, but I love this because it's like a kind of, uh, I don't even know what to describe it as, poncho sort of thing. But this is great for keeping in a bag. So if I'm wearing a tank dress and then I need to go into a mosque or I'm going into some place where I need to be more modest, I just put this over the top. So and it's very lightweight and comfy. So I have a couple of those that I might bring. And then a basic black dress. This is from Target. I got it on clearance for $6.32. And it's got pockets and it's got a ruffle at the bottom and it is nothing special. It's just a little rayon dress, but it's one of those dresses that because it's rayon, you can even pack it like this, like a broomstick. And then when you pull it out, it's gonna have artful looking wrinkles. So a little cheapy. And you know, I love going in and hunting the, the garbage dump at Target, going to, into the clearance section and just picking up stuff that I know that I'm gonna use and I'll use until it falls apart and it'll probably fall apart in one trip, but that's okay. So um, yeah, so that's my black dress. Then on the other side, like I said, I'm going all with silk if I can. Everything silk because I really, really wanna um, have a lightweight bag this time. So some of these things you've probably seen before, this is just an Eileen Fisher silk knit top. I got this at a recycle sale. There's also an Eileen Fisher store called Renew where people return clothes that they don't want anymore and then they patch them up and they resell them. And I bought this at one of those sales and I think I paid 10 bucks for it. Uh, this is kind of fun. There's a company called Quince that makes luxury products, but they're cheap luxury products. This is a black silk camisole and I think it was only about 20 or 30 bucks. It's stretchy also and it's a very nice basic thing and it weighs almost nothing. So that's an interesting thing to check out. Quince, they also have cashmere. Um, for my warmth layer for this trip, this is a cashmere sweater from Quince. It's not the softest cashmere I have ever purchased, for sure, but it's lightweight and extremely warm. So yeah, it's not, yeah, it's cheap cashmere, but you know, hey, if you don't have any cashmere, this might be your chance if you go to Quince. So that's the, the brand, I'll show you the label right there. And you can just pop onto their website and you'll see they have lots of these kind of nicer, higher end things, but they're very affordable. Uh, this is from a French market, a little linen three quarter and three quarter length sleeve top. This is going to be one of my main things I'm going to wear on this trip because it's really lightweight. I bought this in, where did I buy this, Luca? Oh goodness, was that? Des Ans, Des Ans Why? Uh... Yeah, so the, the Provence tour that's actually happening right now, uh, we go to a whole bunch of these wonderful French markets and I bought this, I think it was 10 euros for a cute little uh, linen top that's three quarter length. And these really like gauzy kind of cheap blouses are perfect for hot weather. Uh, what else do I have in here? So a couple more silk tops and yeah, that's it. These are, this one is another one that I think I got this at Macy's maybe 10 years ago. Uh, it's a Jones New York 
silk top. Somebody actually told me, Lisa Marinelli actually told me, that TJ Maxx um, sells a lot of silk clothing like this. So that's another place to look for bargain basement silk things. This Is this my style? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It weighs nothing and it's kind of cute. It's black and white and goes with everything, right? So that's my lineup so far. But I did not feel satisfied. I just didn't. I was kind of struggling. You can see the pile right here. This is how I do things, is I go through my closet and I pull out all the usual suspects. This is the pile of the usual suspects, things that I often take on trips. And I was not satisfied with any of those things. So today I went to REI. Uh, I live in Seattle, so we have a, an REI flagship store, which is huge. And I went bargain shopping there. I went and found perfect things. End of the season is a great time to shop for travel clothing that's for warmer weather because they're getting rid of that stuff. So let's have a look at what I got today. I'm very excited about these little things that are going to lighten my load even more. First of all, you've probably tried these, but if you haven't, now you know. This is hand soap. Now, because I'm going to India, I have a feeling I'm going to be washing my hands more than usual. 50 leaves in this time, and they're tiny little uh, squares, uh, and they you just put them on your hand and get them wet, and they turn into soap. Shampoo the same way. Look at that. That weighs nothing. In fact, if you want to know what it weighs, we can even get the scale out, but it weighs not. Let me just say it weighs, oh, I don't know, probably two ounces, maybe not even that, probably an ounce. So there you go. That's a, a wonderful way to lighten your load. The other thing I'm going to do is add uh, laundry detergent in, in the same form. Uh, Earth Breeze I use in my own laundry detergent, my own uh, laundry machine here at home, and it comes in these dehydrated sheets, and it really is good for sink washing. So if you've ever heard of it before, you've tried it, Earth Breeze, their laundry sheets. I've seen them even at Fred Meyer, which is like Kroger. Uh, so that's a great thing to bring on a trip when you want to do sink washing. So there you go. Dehydrated soap sheets, shampoo, hand soap, laundry detergent. And then what else did I find at REI? They have their winter silk stuff out, which is meant to be like underclothes, I suppose. But I found this beautiful silk camisole, which weighs almost nothing that I think is going to be really pretty. And of course it's a little bit sheer, but I'll just wear a sports bra underneath it. So it kind of looks like I intended it to be layers like that and then a little jacket over the top. So I'm super pleased with this. It, it, it wasn't cheap, it was 45 bucks, but this weighs, I would say probably an ounce and a half, maybe probably just slightly more than these. <laughs> so really worth it to invest in things that are super light like that. Uh, next thing I was excited to find, and some of you guys already know about this stuff, uh, icebreaker. I don't know if you've heard of icebreaker before, but this is a brand of clothing that everything is made out of merino wool. So this is ultralight merino wool and it's a tank top. And why would you want a wool tank top? Well, because this uh, doesn't stink, they say. I don't know. I'm, I'm not that stinky, but we're going to find out if this stuff does stink uh, because wool apparently has some quality where it is odor diffusing. Uh, you can wash it, it washes up really nicely, but it also has the effect of being warm in winter and cool in summer. Now, I think that's an awful big thing to brag about, so I don't know if I believe it, but I'm going to let you know. So that's going to be one of my pieces I take, is a merino tank top. Also from uh, REI, two different kinds of underpants that I'm excited about. Um, speaking of uh, icebreaker, they make underpants. Yep. Wool underpants, and I know that sounds really tragic and weird, but they're actually very comfy. They're very soft and comfy, and I don't know, it's gonna be kind of fun to find out. They were on sale for 16 bucks. That was like half price, so they're normally very, very expensive, uh, but they are naturally odor resistant. So if you're a woman watching this, you understand what I'm saying. This might be for investment. Um, they also make these which you know that I've been recommending those on Gossamer underpants for a while because they don't weigh anything. This is equally light and a little bit more coverage. These are REI underpants and they were on clearance also and they're called the Active Bikini, uh, but they were about eight bucks a pair. Pretty darn hardy. I'm wearing a pair right now and they I mean, you hardly feel like you're wearing them at all and these are going to wash up really nice. So if you are just wearing your own cotton underpants that you wear every day, this is gonna up your travel game. Get yourself some really nice travel underpants because they're lighter, more comfortable, and also they just wash and dry a lot faster. And then last but not least, my favorite thing that I'm excited about, 
my target dress, the black one, just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it so much. I'll bring it, but it, it was not, I was not excited. So I've been looking through all the travel clothing company catalogs and I found a really beautiful dress at REI by a company called Royal Robins. I don't know if you've ever heard of Royal Robins before, but they are allegedly a travel clothing company. Uh, I have a couple things by them. This is just a really simple dress. It's got pockets. It's got a very lightly elasticized waist and then a back closure that's kind of cute. It's not that it's the most special dress in the world, but it's exactly what I was looking for, and here's why. And this is what you want to look for in a travel dress. Modest shoulders. Yeah, it's sleeveless, but it covers all the way just to about here. So it actually could count if you were going into a place that said covered shoulders, because it really almost does. Uh, you also have stretchy fabric for if you eat too much. It's also lightweight and you can wash it in your sink and it'll dry fast. It's got pockets. Look at the, oh, I love the pockets. These are very, very big pockets for my new iPhone, it's, which is bigger. This is gonna fit. And also the length. This is just about knee length for me and I'm extremely tall as you probably know, I'm six foot two. So this would be more almost like below the knee length for most of you. And I think it's just a great travel dress. It really is perfect and it weighs almost nothing. So I'll tell you what this is called. It's called the Spotless Traveler Dress. Spotless Traveler Dress. And I got it on sale for 60 bucks. So uh, you can look for this stuff at Royal Robins. They have their own website, but REI carries their stuff. I think Ex Officio might also, but you can also look on Amazon. You can also look on um, ThreadUp as well. You might find stuff there as well. So those are the fun little things that I found today. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just go through this pile and see if there's anything else that is lighter than light. Um, my underpants, I, you know, of course, always there's a sexy part of the show. I've shown you my new underpants. Other thing to consider is bras. I found this completely almost transparent gauze bra. And I know some of you are like, but I need a padded one. Okay, sure, but this doesn't weigh anything. And it's just an additional bra, you know, just in case you, you get sick of the ones you have. And per usual, my, my bathing suit is a sports bra that I can wear every day. And then just a bikini bottom, this is from Freya. And I bought this off of Amazon and I love Freya, they're a great brand. So that's my bathing suit if I need one. I don't know if I'll need one, but now I've got one just in case. So I think that's probably it. Um, socks, I'll bring a couple pairs of socks. Uh, oh, the jacket, where'd the jacket go? Oh, so this was the, the thing I was very concerned about with this trip is that it's gonna be hot everywhere Everything I have that would be a long sleeve, anything is not waterproof. And it, I, it could rain, I don't know if it's gonna rain, but everything that's a rainproof jacket is also way too heavy and we're in such a hot place. So REI had the answer as I knew they would. And I have found on sale also a wonderful ultralight jacket. Now I know this doesn't look like much on camera because it's a very plain ultralight jacket, but this is the lightest jacket that I think I have ever ever seen and it squishes down to practically nothing and I would say this is on par with a t-shirt probably less than the weight of a t-shirt and it has a hood yeah it's water resistant so I'm not sure it's waterproof but that's fine because this is going to be perfect for India that's what I'm concerned about is it's going to be 90 degrees and raining uh, so this was my little treat that I found and it was a good deal um, they have different colors and they started about 40 bucks on sale at REI uh, and this is absolutely my favorite thing that I found there today because it weighs nothing and it's going to go on my bag and I can just, you know, throw it in my day bag and I'll always have something waterproof. Look at this. I'm just going to bunch it up real tight. Look at that. That's teeny. doesn't weigh anything. So there you go. That's what I'm thinking about for packing for my trip to Turkey, Egypt, Jordan, and India. So if you're thinking about going to those destinations, just to review, first of all, pack light, light, light. Try to trim as much weight as you can. Uh, dehydrated soap, all these things. The reason you wanna go light, light, light is it's taking a lot of flights to get there. I'm taking a lot of flights and some of these smaller airlines have really outrageous baggage fees. So I'm trying to stick just to my backpack, just to carry on and go super, super light. Uh, and then also like making sure you pack modestly and that's the hardest thing I think for most people traveling to these destinations. You have to just really comb the racks at REI, Eddie Bauer, wherever you can think of to get the lightest clothing possible so that you can take 
multiple different things because I imagine I'm going to get pretty sweaty and I can't just keep wearing the same thing over and over. And the other discovery is merino wool clothing. That's something a lot of people have recommended to me and I'm going to give it a, a road test and see how that works. But that should work in a situation to keep you from being stinky and also to keep you cool. So that's what's on my mind, packing for the Islamic world and for places where you just need to be more modest. Uh, three quarter length sleeves, layering as usual. Okay, so any questions with that? No, no. No? All right. So thanks for joining me for this little packing catch up. Uh, and we're going to have lots of adventures all over the world, uh, not just with me, but with my guides coming up in the next month as we continue to explore Provence, southern Italy, Turkey, and on to the, the Far East and heading to India. So thanks for joining us. Ciao!